Hi, Year 8s. Welcome back to Week 4 History with Mrs Gill. Our topic for Week 4 is looking at the discovery of the Americas. So for Week 1 and Week 2 and Week 3, we looked at where the Americas were, um, who were the Indigenous people that lived in the Americas before Europeans discovered that area. And we also spent two weeks looking at the traditional Aztec culture and what the Aztec lifestyle was like before the arrival of the Spanish. So this week we are looking specifically at how Europeans were sailing around the world, why they were sailing around the world, and then how Christopher Columbus was the first person to discover the Americas. As per usual, set aside about two hours to complete your history work. There is only four pages of history for this week. A lot of it is reading, so there's not too much writing involved. Making sure that you are finishing all the tasks on this plan as well. As per usual, it is due Friday week four, back to me either by paper, scanning or taking pictures of your work, um, or also emailing me if you've been typing on the computer. So let's have a look at what we're doing this week. So before we learn about who Christopher Columbus was and how he discovered the Aztecs, we need to understand what Europeans understood about the seas. Remember, this is a time before aeroplanes and modern technology. All that Europeans knew about the world and the locations of other countries was from sailing to those places on ships. So this box here is basically setting the scene for us this week. We're not looking about we're not looking at specifically um, the interactions between the Spanish and the Aztecs. This uh, week we are looking at their travel, their discovery of other places using ships and sailing. That is what our topic is for this week. So we're starting on this first page by looking at what did Europeans know about the earth. Your job is to read this information here, have a look at the picture, and then answer the questions down below. So one of the most common myths that Europeans thought about the sea or about the earth itself was that it was flat. So they thought that if you sailed too far in one direction, you would simply just fall off the edge. Your boat would just hit the edge of the earth and you would just fall off. To who knows where that actually is, but they did not understand that the earth was round. So this prevented a lot of people from sailing um, to places they didn't know about, simply because they were worried that if they sailed too far, and the, or if they got lost, they would fall off the edge of the earth, essentially. So your first question here is, why do you think European people in the 1200s thought the earth was flat? So thinking about what we know of historical knowledge, why do you think they might have thought the earth was flat? Looking at that, this picture down here, we can see that this ship is being attacked by numerous different things that are out in the sea. This is the land. This is a historical map or a painting of what superstitions, what exaggerated stories um, people used to tell about what lurked in the sea. So this is a time that we know medieval Europe is still heavily Catholic. There is still the thoughts of heaven and hell. Um, so people were very uh, easily swayed through a story because if you heard a story of something, you were most likely to believe it because you hadn't experienced it yourself. There's no Google, there's no, um, you know, wiki how, anything like that. So stories were a great way to spread information, but also to spread myths and things that weren't necessarily true. So based upon this uh, picture here, what kind of sailor superstitions do you think are shown on the map? Think of, you know, your old sailor stories and things like that. Mermaids, dragons, giant squid, things like that. Now, since we've got our head around what Europeans knew about the world and how they thought of the sea, that it was a very scary and dangerous place, we're going to have a look down here. So where did Europeans sail and travel to before the Americas? So down in this picture here, we have a lot of these white lines. These white lines represent the old trading routes between Europe, India, and China. So these trading routes were established by the Romans and even before the Romans. So these have been used for hundreds of years before um, even the Americas were discovered. So over in this corner here, this is um, the side part of Italy as the country. We have France and Germany up here and Britain would be over here. So to get from Britain or France or Germany, where we have our medieval Europe happening over here, you would have to physically walk or ride a horse or a donkey and cart down here. If you went this way, you could go to ancient Egypt. If you went over this way, you would cross through what is now known as the Middle East, down into India or across through Mongolia 
into China over here. The reason why Europeans were so keen to make this long journey, even though it was very difficult and could take months at a time, is because Europe only had certain things. So for example, China um, would have spices that Europeans would trade with. India had tea and sugar. Um, and so Europeans would trade with China and sell goods. And that was a big market, a big source of money for those people, for our merchant class, as we learned in medieval Europe. So looking at these two questions, why would walking on this trade route be dangerous to travel? And list some of the benefits of buying and transporting goods slash food by ships. So compared to having to walk this entire journey by foot, what would be a benefit of somehow being able to sail a boat to China or a boat to India to pick up supplies? Think about how much you can actually um, carry on a ship versus what one donkey and cart can carry back to Europe. Now this map down here, we're moving from um, our Europeans that were making this journey by foot and then these were some of the first sailors that were trying to find a way to sail to India and China. They wanted an easier way to get goods from India and China back to Europe without physically having to walk or cart all of this stuff from here all the way back over to Europe. So the different colours on your map here show this. So we've got Diaz. Diaz was, you can see from this red line here, he sailed all the way down to the bottom of Africa. He did not make it to India or China. De Gama, he went from uh, Spain, which is this country here, and Portugal, all the way around Africa, up the east coast, and he actually made it to India. Magellan, he went down past Africa. He actually made it to um, the Indonesian area. And the line that comes back around actually shows that he did the first circumnavigation of the world. So he was at, Magellan was the first sailor to actually sail the world once. Um, giving a hint to some people that the world may not necessarily be flat, um, but without him being able to do that, it was uh, there would be no proof that the Earth was round. Now, other ones on here, of course, Columbus. We've been talking about Christopher Columbus's name a lot. There is a big difference with Columbus here. A lot of the other sailors, they thought if they went down and around Africa, they could somehow make it to India or China very easily. But obviously having to go around Africa up to India made the trip a lot longer. So Columbus thought, hey, if the world is round and you know he didn't know that any of this existed, what if I went west from Europe and if I went across here and back over here, I should land straight in China. So in theory, it was a good idea. Why would I have to go all the way around Africa when I could just cut across and then pop out on the other side of the world on China? What Columbus didn't know and what he accidentally discovered was that there was a whole set of continents over here that nobody in Europe knew existed. So he went here and actually got stuck by land. So there's no land, there's no sea crossing between here, actually. So um, that is how Columbus accidentally um, discovered Mesoamerica. You can see he landed in the Central America region. So I think I've given you a lot of information there, but that's actually probably all covered anyway. So that's my explanation of the map, if that helps. Looking down here, um, answering some questions, I want you to describe where these sailors sailed to. So I already have described where they went and everything like that, and I've given you Magellan as the example. So describe to me where Diaz sailed, where did De Gamma sail to, and then where did accidentally Columbus sail to. The last thing we're going to look at is Columbus and his details of his first voyage. So Columbus actually went on lots of different voyages. I think he went on four or five. We're going to look at some of the important ones next week. But this is just his first voyage. So this is a uh, background knowledge about why Christopher Columbus thought that going west instead of um, down and around Africa would be a good idea. Answer that question. Um, why did he actually go to the king and queen of Spain? Columbus was actually Italian. Um, he's not Spanish, but he did work for the Spanish. So that's a bit of a confusing part about him. Looking at Columbus's crew and what they were thinking on the journey, and then looking at um, the discovery of um, Cuba and uh, Mesoamerica. And then the last thing, he made it back and he told Queen Isabella and the Pope all the things that they did. So this is our work for this week. Again, like I said, lots of reading, not too much questions. And we're going to look at Christopher Columbus in week five in more detail. This is connecting our Aztecs 
to how and why um, you know, Christopher Columbus accidentally discovered this whole continent. It was basically that he wanted to find a way to India and China, um, but he accidentally discovered a whole other continent instead. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, make sure you get your work submitted by Friday afternoon. Have a good week, guys, and I'll see you when you come back to school soon.